when you pray. God, my Lord, my God, God is excellent. My Father, my King, He's excellent. Almighty, most high. last verse again for saving my soul thank you Jesus for making me whole for healing my body thank you Jesus so what thank you Jesus so what thank you Jesus I could have been dead and gone but I thank you Jesus for closure with no home but I thank you Jesus in jail without bail but I thank you Jesus so I thank you Jesus for your mercy and your grace Getting my kids home safe. Thank you, Jesus. Getting my kids home safe. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless y'all. Yeah. Give it up for Brother Hans. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all may be seated. Yeah. As I look back over my life and how He blessed me and kept me from myself and I'll Never forget I won't regret the day I gave my life And then he came that I might have an abundant life Without the strife, strep and drama overtaking me But I'm empowered to prosper and succeed Please believe it's no goodness of mine It's the Lord's doing and it's marvelous My time to be blessed I guess the test and trials came to break me Nevertheless, cause I'm blessed, none of them can shake me Lately I've been reminded I'm the seed of Abraham and through Christ that's why I'm blessed like I am Testimony is life test I'm on why I found out that I'm blessed That's why I survive I don't think that I've arrived I'm just glad to be alive I'm blessed that I've survived So, so, thank you Jesus Say thank you Come on, say thank Come on and say thank Thank you Thank you Say thank you Jesus all right, y'all, y'all mess me up. Y'all mess me up. I told him I feel like this brother right here, this brother right here, there are secular labels that are still seeking after him and want him to let go of where he is. But I declare to you, man of God, what God has for you is for you. And God says, before I put before you an open door that no man can shut. Good God Almighty. God says, I'm getting ready to take you to measures beyond measure, beyond measure, to realms beyond measure, saith the Lord of hosts. Get ready. Somebody shout, get ready, Haas. Get ready, Haas. Come on, clap your hands again for the man of God. He has some tapes and CDs uh, in the vestibule, so I want you to stop by his table afterwards, and he will be here for 11.30, amen, to give us some more. Amen. I want you to watch the screens really quick before we get into our word. Amen. Watch the screen really quick before we get into our word. Hallelujah.
this is just a visual to remind most of us in here that we do not sit under a regular man we don't sit under just a regular pastor we don't uh we're not trying to downgrade the level of pastors that are across this country but pastor bryant is one that has been sent from the lord to not only preach in a local a local organization or a local church building but to travel throughout the country throughout the world crying loud and sparing not letting it be known that god is real and that his people deserve justice so that was just a bird's eye view of the work he's been doing since you last saw him on Sunday. So we want you to continue to pray for him. Well done, Dr. Jamal Bryant. We love you, appreciate you. Continue the work for the Lord, and we will see you this week. And so he said, because I could not be there, because of the work that I had been doing, he says, I was just like Jesus. Jesus said, I'm going to ascend to another place, but I will not leave you comfortless, but I will send you a comforter that will teach you and guide you and lead you into all truths. So Pastor Bryant says, I have some other work I needed to do but I didn't leave you wordless I sent you a man from the courts of glory who hears the word of the Lord this bishop is one that has been in the kingdom that has been preaching the gospel hails from Mount Vernon New York in the building hails from Mount Vernon New York City has been traveling throughout this country even abroad preaching and teaching the word of God after the Simonic selection the next voice you hear would be none other than Bishop Morton, Bishop Brian Moore. Clap your hands as we receive. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name today. Yeah. Say, I will sing, I will sing of your power, sing of your strength. Say, I will. Sing of your mercy. Sing of your grace. Sing of your grace. I'll never understand. I'll never understand how your mindful of a man is not worthy of the love you show. I'll never understand. Your strength. Sing of your strength. Hey, hey, I, will. I will sing of your sing mercy. Of your mercy. Sing, of your sing of your strength. I'll never understand. I'll never understand. Say, are you mindful of a man? It's not worthy. It's not worthy of a That's our commitment today. Forever, As we join in with the four and twenty forever, elders and the angelic hosts, come on, we say forever. 
That's why. Forever. Because you've been good and kind. Forever. And wonderful. And I'm to bless you. We'll praise you at all times. And your praise will continually Somebody ought to just worship him right now. Come on, lift those hands and just worship him. Come on, he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. From the fruit of your lips, just tell him something good. Come on, tell him how wonderful he's been. Hallelujah. everybody come on put your hands together to the praise and the glory of God clap your hands all ye people God bless you you may be seated in the presence of the Lord just tell your neighbor you got the best seat in the house because you're sitting right next to a miracle got any miracles in the building today it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. His compassion never fails. They're new every morning. Jeremiah picks up the pen one day and writes, Great is thy faithfulness. We are here today simply because the Lord has been faithful to us. Even in the midst of our unfaithfulness, the Lord has been steadfast and unmovable 
and we thank God for Jesus in this place can we clap our hands one more time to the glory of God I greet you this morning in the name of the one in whom we live and move and have our being it is in Jesus name and he is the reason for the season whatever season you find yourself in he's the reason for it we celebrate him today amen we honor the angel of this house in absentia dr jamal bryant he is my little brother and i thank god for him come on we thank god for his assignment how the lord has anointed him not only to be a tremendous blessing to this locale but how the lord has called him as a voice for this generation And we are so excited about what the Lord is doing in his life. Amen. I'm glad to be here today. Amen. And we thank God for all that our eyes have seen and our ears have heard, but certainly for what our hearts have felt. Amen. I want to invite you today out of the word of the Lord to the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis chapter... 29, as it is your custom, we're going to ask that you would stand for the reading of the word. Genesis chapter 29, verse 31. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. But Rachel was barren. You may be seated. I want you just to look at your neighbor and just tell them something good's coming out of this. That's what we want to talk about for the next few minutes. Something good's coming out of this. Lord, do it again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible provides for us, if you will, a wealth of testimonies and documented accounts of the experiences of men and women who have faced, if you will, unbelievable situations in their individual lives. Just, just ordinary people, just, just ordinary people with, with ordinary lives, just, just regular people like, like you and I and let let me remind you that everything that you've ever gone through everything that you will ever go through the Lord has fixed it so that there's someone in the word of God who's been through it and who has came out of it with victory and a testimony everything everything that you will ever go through